In this example, uh, we are given a cylinder of mass capital M and radius R is hinged from its axis of rotation O from ceiling as shown. And uh, it is saying an ideal string is wrapped over its surface and other end of which is tied to a block of mass small m. If this system is released from rest, we are required to find the acceleration of falling mass. Now, in the solution, if we analyze the situation, we can see that the system will fall because of uh, the weight of this block that is mg acting on the block in downward direction due to which a tension is developed in the string and the tension on the other end uh, will be exerting a clockwise torque on the cylinder due to which it will also start rotating. Now if the cylinder rotates at an angular acceleration alpha as the string is wrapped over it and it is not a slipping, we can see that the acceleration with which the mass will fall down will be R alpha. Now if we write directly the equation of uh, motion for falling mass, we can state for falling mass we will be able to write mg minus t is equals to ma that will be our first equation. Similarly, for uh, cylinder, if we write the equation of motion that is under rotational motion, so the torque acting on it will be T into R and net torque we can write as I alpha, the moment of inertia of cylinder we can write as uh, half MR square into the angular acceleration we can write as E by R. Now in this situation, this R gets cancelled out and if we add the two equations, will be getting on left hand side the weight of falling mass and on right hand side will be having small m plus capital M by 2 into A. So on simplifying we will be getting acceleration is equals to 2m by 2m plus capital M into G that will be the answer to this problem.